All right, here we see s of t, and we want to break that down into a composition f of g of h. Another way to write that would be with parentheses f of g of h of t. And we can see from that that the innermost function is h. Now remember, when you're looking at s of t and you see the squared symbol right here, what that really means when we do that with trig functions is it means you're going to take the sine function and you're going to square it. So that's the order of those functions there. So now going back to h of t, that's the innermost function. So if we look at this, the innermost part is the cosine of t. So let's let h of t equal the cosine of t. Now the next layer would be g. h is inside g, so what's the next layer we see? The next layer we see is sine. So if we let g of t equal the sine of t, then notice that if you were to put h inside g, you would have cosine inside sine, and you would have sine of cosine t. That's what we want. Finally, we want the outermost layer, f. So the outermost function is the squaring function. So let's let f of t equal t squared, so that if we were to find f of g of h of t, we would be squaring what we just had. And that's what we wanted. That's what S of t is.